Let's do this. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Welcome to the review of the US Display Chris Farmer 2. From what I know, it's like the fourth or even the fifth edition of the US This Way. What's new on this one? Well, if you haven't seen the video that I've done with my first impressions when I first unboxed this skate, maybe go watch that one too. But anyway, what's different between these and the previous one? And basically the main difference on this skate compared to the previous one is the sole plate. The US Way Chris Farmer is sold as a boot only skate, meaning that there's no frame coming with this. Chris Farmer is sponsored by 5050 and 5050 just released the new Chris Farmer Prime frame, which is a black with orange details, just like on this skate. And then Chris Farmer is also sponsored by Red Eye Wheels, and they also release some 57 millimeters wheels in orange. So if you want a full on Chris Farmer skate, I don't have it, but I did try this setup with the Prime frames. And now let me just talk about my experience with these skates. I was basically testing these skates to see how the sole plate compare to the previous one and I need to admit that I really 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 love this sole plate. I didn't dislike the previous sole plate but the looks of this it looks so clean and it works so well. It has like a very wide negative space which works really well especially with another feature of this skate that we'll speak in a, in a bit and the, the sole plate with the Royale is just perfect. I actually use these in other skates. I know that a lot of people is using this sole plate now on them skates and people are even using this on M12, which can fix the Rose's M12 for a lot of people because a lot of people really like the fit out of the M12 or really like the looks from the top, very slim, but they, they think the sole plate is too narrow. So this sole plate can fit on the M12. At least I've seen it on Instagram, on several posts. So it is doable. How was my experience with this skate? Well, let me tell you that I first started by skating these skates with the 50-50 prime frames. I wanted to have the full Chris Farmer experience, but I was skating it anti-rocker. I really enjoyed what I could do with them. I could do a lot more tricks than I did today while filming for these with, with a flat frame. Right here, I'm using the Entente frame. This is the Didi Daddy frame with 58 millimeter wheels. The 58 millimeter wheels that I have here are the Bloom Mick Casals wheel. And I really like this wheel too. I really like this wheel. I really like this frame, but I was able to do a lot more stuff with these skates when I was skating anti-rocker. I was skating anti-rocker with, again, the 5050 Prime frame, the, the original version, the black one with some undercover Apex 60 millimeters, the ones that have the aluminum core. And by the way, in case you were wondering, this is a size 43, a US 10 skate. I didn't change anything on the liner or anything like on the, on the boot, the liner, the laces. This is full on stock. I just changed the frame because it doesn't come with the frame. I started by skating anti-rocker, but as I said in these videos here, when I spoke about the US, the US this way first, these skates have a lot of forward flex. And these extreme forward flex, it is very helpful for some things. For me, I don't know if it was helpful for others. So let me explain. I really enjoy these skates for all types of grinds, especially like torques, backslides and all that, especially when I was skated with the anti-rocker setup was extremely easy. I could, I really felt that I was enjoying the experience a lot. But what I felt was, I don't know if it was for skating anti-rocker or if you on, on long frame, like a 270 millimeter frame anti-rocker, or if it was for the extreme forward flex, but I started having knee pain and the knee pain started getting worse and worse. And I then slapped um, a flat frame. Truth being said, I didn't skate them a lot or I didn't skate them as much with a flat frame. 
my knee pain is a bit better, but it's been better because I haven't been skating. In case you haven't realized, I haven't been posting as much on here on YouTube, like up-to-date videos or even on Instagram, because I haven't been skating as much trying to recover my knee. I don't know exactly what happened on my knee, but I started by feeling like it wasn't stable here on the sides, and then I, I felt a bit of pain in the back, and then it came here to the top of my knee, like right here. It's a bit better, it's been a bit better, especially the last couple of days, that's why I'm making this video today, but I still feel that a, a bit. I do not know, again, if it's because of these extreme forward flex that these skates allow me to, that no other skates will allow me to, or if it's because I was skating anti-rocker. Now, I've been skating anti-rocker with other skates and I didn't felt that, but I also heard a lot of people saying that after skating anti-rocker for so long, they start feeling it. So I, I don't really know the reason for that. I'm not going to say it's because of the skates. What I'm going to say is these forward flex allow me, again, to do some things that I'm not as good. Like, I'm okay with negatives, but I really feel that with these skates, I can be even better with my negatives. Something that I actually find it interesting, not a lot of people will be a fan of, but <laughs> there's a, a, a trick called hot dog, which is like a double negative trick. And as weird as it may seem, these skates allow me to do them really easy on rails. Like hot dogs on ledges, it's easy. You just slap them both with the inside plate and you just do double negatives. But on a rail, it's a bit harder. And somehow, it kind of feels like it has the exact amount of negative space that I need. If the sole plate is too wide, sometimes it becomes too weird because one of your sole plates will kick the other, so it's hard for you to be balanced. If it's too narrow, then it just slides down the rail. With these, it really works well. So, yeah, that's a, an interesting fact. Other than that, what, what else can I say about this skate? I really like the skate, especially for the price range that you can get this skate. If you get uh, the Sway, I think it's the, the, the Sway team, the, the blue with the gray plates and the orange laces, you can get that skate for a really, really good price. And it comes complete with the Kaiser Fluid 5, which is an amazing flat frame. So I, I think that's a really cool setup that you can get for a really good price. But there are some things that I would like to see different, especially on, it's not just on the Sway, it's on some other USD skates. I would like these, it's 45 degrees strap to have something different. I mean, like I, I've seen other companies from Power Slide or from the same group, I don't know how, how to say it, <laughs> that have been trying to get the skates to sound better, example, I've seen the Mesmer skates now coming with a with a with a pad on the inside of the of the sole plates so that they sound better. Let's please try to, to fix this. It's it's a cool thing. I really like the 45 degree strap, and I know a lot of people out there like it. But I also know that a lot of people take it off just because of this. And there, I'm sure there's an easy fix for this, even if it's just putting something on the inside where the space is or getting like the metal to be a bit more squished here. I know that they have a solution for this or they can find a solution for this. So this would be a very minimal thing that I would change. Another thing would be, I mean, this receptor is cool. It's just like, it kind of feels like a lot of times for some reason, I don't know if it should be shifted forward or backwards, but sometimes when I try to put it here, it kind of feels like it goes straight to the whole of the buckle. It's just a minimal thing and with time, of course, it gets okay. So I wouldn't say this is a problem, but if they're gonna be starting fixing stuff, that could be something that could also be a bit different, just so that we wouldn't have that problem. Other than that, man, it's something that happens since the sway started coming with bolts, even before. It could be because of these extreme forward flex. Once again, I know that before the sway having the cuff bolts, they have some rivets. And when this was riveted, people had a lot of problems with these and they're starting getting loose and noisy and even breaking. And what happens is that very easily these cuff bolts get loose, it's again because of the movement. A lot of skates don't even have any movement. These skates have a lot of movement, so we need to find a solution so that these bolts don't get that loose. So if you bought these skates, I would just advise you to tighten 
often, like in the beginning of the session when you tighten your, your wheels just to make sure that you don't lose them or even the, the frame bolts, just also tighten these because it can happen very easily. And now going to the liner, I'm going to say something that probably not a lot of people will agree with me. I usually like my skates to have like a little bit of a forward attack meaning with a high heel pad. I don't know if everyone likes it or not, but I kind of feel like this heel pad is a bit thick, especially on a skate that it's already raised heel. So raised heel plus this, you're going to feel, it's not a bad thing, it's just something that you should be aware. It's going to be a skate that might feel either a bit slow or something that it's a little bit leaning forward. You can solve that by taking this out, that's not really a problem. Now, since the beginning of the usage of this liner, it was, again, was one of the first reviews that I've ever made on this channel, I said that I would really love to see something here that would be a bit grippier, just like we have on the heels, something on the toe area that would make, like when you do this type of movement on the inside, you don't want the skate to do this, you know? This is going to happen if there's no uh, grip here on the bottom. So maybe increasing the grip of the bottom in the toe area would, would be cool. Other than that, man, it's a puffy liner. It's not a liner for everyone. I know that some people will not like these, but I actually enjoy it. There's one thing that I actually hate, and that is the fact that I keep on losing these things. I wanted to skate the skate stock. I didn't want to take these out. These things, they keep on coming loose. And there's also a very easy fix. Maybe just a simple Velcro here on top would allow this thing to stay here without coming out all the time. So I keep on losing these uh, I don't even know how to call this. It's basically something that is here, just like a tongue stiffener, if that makes sense. I didn't took any of these out. I will probably try these on other skates and even on the same skates. I probably need to give a bit of a rest to my to my knees before I start, uh, before I keep skating with these skates. But in case you were wondering, am I gonna be skating these skates for a bit longer? I think not for now. I need to give a bit of a rest to my knee. I'm not sure if it's because of these skates, but I think I'm going to come back to them because I really, really enjoy them, especially when I skated them anti-rocker. I have actually ordered like a shorter anti-rocker frame. I've been skating on longer frames, but I've been wanting to try a shorter anti-rocker frame. So I'm going to go with that option soon. And then I may be back to the Sway Farmers and yeah. I really like them. So if you were wondering if this is a good skate or a bad skate, then I really, let me just put it back on. I really think this is an amazing skate, really, really good skate. If, you, <laughs> if you're doubting about it, just look at Michael Witzman. He just, he just won the, the Blading Cup with, or the Spring Cup with some sways with the exact same frame, skating flat. It obviously doesn't work the same for me, but well, it did work for them. It works for Farmer and yeah, you can get it at an amazing price. You should know if you're buying the team one, obviously Farmer, Chris Farmer is not getting um, the cut, the royalty that he does on, the, on his own pro model. So expect to pay a bit more for this liner and for having the Chris Farmer name here. But it's a really clean look and well, it's the exact same skate that Dominic Sagon has been skating. So. In case you didn't know, Dominic Segon is probably the king of style, the best style ever on inline skates. He's been skating with this. So if that says something to you, well, that is it. Now, if you want to know where to get these skates, make sure to check one of the sponsors of this channel, and that is Bladeville.com. They are based in Poland, they ship worldwide, and they have these and a lot more skates. And when you check out, make sure to use code LINO and you are supporting this channel by doing it. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also become a member by pressing on that join button right here and you'll have access to some exclusive content just for you, the members. And it's another way to support what I do here. But you don't need to become a member. If you don't want to, if you just want to watch this stuff, well, I'm more than happy with you just subscribing. We're getting close to 100K subscribers. I'm planning to do something big. So let's see what I can do. Now, about this video, if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but please drop me a comment. Let me know in the comments what you didn't like about this video, but also drop me a comment if you like it. And if you want to see something on this channel that you haven't seen yet. And to finalize it, just like I always do, I'm going to ask you to always remember why we all started skating. And that, with a lot of forward flex, 
with a flat frame, doing backflips, doing front flips, we all started skating because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon. So